guys so today I'm going to show you how I maintain her hair when she has braids how I keep them to last two to three weeks you so doing your you doing my braids so as you can see she has these pretty braids in her hair and they are a week old so get closer to the camera so they can see how good they still look after one week they are old. They old, but they still look good. They still look good. They have a little frizz, but I can't get a whole extra week out of them. So as soon as I finish braiding her hair, what I do is I use some mousse. So I put about this much in my hand and probably about four times, and I put it throughout her hair, and it'll leave her hair a little bit damp. What I do is once I put it on her hair, I go ahead and add her scarf. So the type of scarf that I like to use is a silk scarf. This scarf is 100% silk. Um, it is not satin. I do not use satin scarves when I braid her hair. If you ever had a silk scarf, you will know the difference between satin and silk. It's a huge, huge, huge difference. I find that with satin scarves, they still sometimes um, take the moisture out of the hair, leaving that... Um, from her hair having that nice luster after you finish braiding it to get really dull over time. So that's why I like silk because it doesn't absorb the moisture as much. Um, so this is um, the scarf. And what I like to do also throughout the week is I will go ahead and I will touch up her edges. What I'll do is um, throughout the week what I'll do is I will touch up her edges. And this also helps it to look really, really neat. So I'm going to add some of this to her edges. Um, this is my edge control for my line that I'm still working on a bit. But what I do is I just go ahead and I add some on her edges. The only thing that I'm doing is brushing her hair on her edges into the braids. And I just do that for each braid. And I found this cute little S-Control brush. I got this from Target. I thought that was so cute. It was only about $2. Pink is, and my, pink is my favorite color. It is? Uh-huh. So I'll go ahead and I'll brush it into her braids. And I like this brush too because it has a little, a little comb at, at the end. So I'll just lightly... Separate it with the comb so that it gives the illusion that it has a new fresh part. So like I said, doing the edges does give it the illusion that it is neat. So now that we are done with her edges, the next thing that I do is I go ahead and I put her scarf on. I and I do this do at hair. I do yes, you can do my hair when, when we're finished. I do this part at night. So <laughs> So this is at night and another thing that I also do is I do I put her scarf on whenever she's in the house like when she's in the house and she has braids like this um, the twist I really don't care about how they get messed up because over time I like the way they look over time but with braids I do like to keep her braids neat so what I do is I leave her scarf on Whenever she's in the house, she does not take her scarf off. And also, you want to be careful, too, when you tie the scarf. Because this happened to me a lot, too, when I was a kid and it stunted my growth in the back of my hair. You want to be careful how tight you tie this. Does that hurt? Does that hurt? Okay, keep the scarf. Now that I have the scarf on, the last thing that I do is add a stocking cap. Now, adding the stocking cap, because the scarf is silk, it would probably slip right off of her head. But I go ahead and I add the stocking cap. And the reason why I add the stocking cap is because I don't want it to slip on her hair. So then I ask her one more time, is it too tight? She says no. And that is pretty much my trick to maintaining her hair over two weeks with braids. Um, follow me on Instagram. That's it? That's all you want to tell them? Okay, so make sure you follow her on Instagram for inspiration on natural hairstyles and things like that. So. If